Hello folks, welcome Endeavor OS XFCE Desktop. I have a subscriber request. Subscriber would like to know how to replace the Endeavor OS icon in the corner. Subscriber also had a second request on how to change the wallpaper on the login screen. Personally, I think it looks fine. But in either case, I am going to make a video about this, so the subscriber wanted to know how to do this. Now, since I don't know the skill level of the subscriber, I am going to take it uh, like I normally do, a little slower, uh, so people can understand this, in case they are someone else that's wanting to do this. I am filming in 1920 by 1080. Welcome, folks. You can see my system information here. XFCE desktops can be decorated. I've heard this silly story. I don't know how many times um, people don't think XFCE desktops are very nice looking. Well, XFCE desktops are also very powerful, even on modern computers. And uh, more importantly, you can always decorate your wallpapers and icon sets, including fancy little mouse pointers also. Subscription key in the corner, 420 videos and growing on all kinds of tips and tricks. Again, this video was requested. So I'm going to talk about changing this icon and some important rules to go with that. You know, when developers create uh, icon sets or single icons and you reboot the computer, it needs to find those things. I don't care what the icon is. And more importantly, I'm going to talk about custom icons. Right click, properties, appearance, whisker menu. Not rocket science, but more importantly, you can also put in titles. So put in uh, Bob's computer, Bob's Linux, Mary's Linux, Mary's computer or whatever you want to put down. Just uh, change this to icon and title if you want it displayed. Otherwise, it'll just be icon only. You can leave that there if you like. Now let's talk about the icon. You can see that it's coming from Mark, our made up name user for today, Documents Icons. And that's a self-created folder. And these are icons that I brought in. They're not going to be part of your system. So whether you create your own icons or whether you download them off the internet, um, that's all up to you. I have some in JPEGs and most of them are in PNG formats. That's my favorite. Icon sizes. If you're creating your own, my suggestion is probably something bigger than 64 by 64. 128 by 128 or higher. Why is that? A lot of people adjust their panel bars a little taller than normal. 16 by 16 size icons are too small, usually. So I'm going to click on R2 D D2. I know I could say that word. And you can see the detailing is pretty sharp in here. However, when I assign this icon to there, it's going to lose some of the detailing because it's going to be shrunk to accommodate the height of the panel. So I lost a lot of detailing, but it's still fairly decent looking, is what I'm getting at. All right, so I'm going to switch back to this one. Icons are just icons. You can pick some from th some for the system also. But more importantly, I'm going to talk about an important rule that all developers of any Linux distro also think about. And they place these kind of things in different locations on your system. And a lot of them are protected by root permissions. Like uh, these mouse cursors, for instance. They come from two locations. I'll just give you some examples. So uh, this radioactive and empty butterfly I could store that in two places. I can store that in a hidden folder called dot icons in here, or I could go to USR share icons and place the same mouse cursor there. So that's what I'm referring to when developers are placing things. And it's done for the reason of um, for novice users and not deleting things by accident. But I'm going to talk about an important rule when you're dealing with icon sets like this. That folder is where that's coming from, that directory. And you initially can place it here, or initially you can place it here. You can also call these something different. However, the rule is still the same. Just like the developers, when they decide to place icons in your menus, they have a location. And the system knows that location based on how that was all done. And the same thing goes for you when you assign an icon. Once you use one or more icons out of that folder, for instance, you don't want to rename it. You don't want to move the folder. 
and you don't want to rename the icon either. Why is that? Because after a reboot, it will be blank if you rename the folder or move it or rename the icon. Just remember that rule. It's very important. So the second request was something to do with the wallpaper on a login screen. Personally, I think it's fine. So um, you will need to open up uh, Thunar in root mode, and you can do that out of terminal. It's usually sudo space Thunar, and it'll open that in root mode. But I'm going to show you the location that you may want to investigate. So go to your file system and click etc. And then it's, um, I'm going to type in L, and I'm looking for light DM. So light DM, slick reader is what something you want to talk about. Now I made a copy of that while I was in root mode and I was able to place that in here. However, if I right click and copy this right now and right click and click in here, I cannot paste it because I'm not in root mode. I would need to open this file manager Thunar in root mode to do that with because this file is protected by root permissions. However, I could copy it and also place it in here. I already have one of those, but I'll overwrite it. It's the same size. All right, so let me go back to the original location. All I want you to do is understand something. Anytime you edit things, I always recommend making copies of the file, just in case you goof. All right, I'm going to open this up. This is Mousepad. You can use whatever text editor that you feel is necessary. Just don't use a word processor. All right, I'm using a tower computer, fairly standard keyboard and mouse, holding down the control key while scrolling up. All right, so you may want to investigate this line right here, okay? If you're wanting to change things. Just, just remember, you need to edit that in root mode. I'll say thank you for watching.